good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 10 mathematics, we will talk about the geometric sequence na kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang paghahanap ng n term, finding the geometric means, and finding the common ratio. So, ano nga ba kapag sinabing geometric sequence or geometric progression? It is a set of terms in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the same fixed number called the common ratio which is commonly refer, uh, represented by R. Okay, so kapag sinabing geometric sequence, ang, uh, ang operation lang na ginagamit is multiplication na kung saan minumultiply sa iisang number ang isang term para masundan ng mga susunod pang terms. At ito ay tinatawag natin common ratio. The formula for geometric sequence or geometric progression is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the last n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms in the sequence, and r is the common ratio. So let us study the given examples below and then identify if it is geometric or not. Number 1, 10, 13, 16, 19. So kung mapapansin nyo, kaya naging 13 ang kasunod ng 10 dahil ang 10 ay inad sa 3 and then naging 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So inad natin sa 3 ang bawat terms para masundan pa ng mga terms. So, since addition ang ginamit na operation, therefore that is not a geometric sequence, pero ito yung halimbawa ng arithmetic sequence. Second example, 2, 6, 18, 54. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kaya naging 6 yung kasunod ng 2 is minultiply siya sa 3. And then, kaya naging 18, minultiply naman ang 6 sa 3. And then, 18, minultiply din sa 3, kaya naging 54. So, the fixed or uh, the fixed number is 3 and then since ang operation na ginamit is multiplication the other uh, for this is an example of geometric sequence another 5 10 20 40 and 80 so lahat po ng terms na yan ay multiply sa 2 so since ang operation na ginamit is multiplication therefore that is also an example of geometric sequence so, let us now proceed on the first examples wherein we have to find the nth term. So, determine the seventh term in the sequence 4, 8, 60. So, for our solution, so kung mapapansin nyo, paano nga ba naging 8 yung kasunod ng 4? So, kaya naging 8 yung kasunod ng 4, nagmultiply tayo ng 2, therefore, ang R natin or common ratio is 2. And then, 8 times 2 is 60. So, sabi dyan, kailangan natin hanapin ang pangpitong term ng sequence na ito na kung saan ang common ratio or R is 2. Okay, so for our solution, let us use the formula of geometric sequence. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R raised by a raised to n minus 1. Wherein A sub n, again, is the last n term. A sub 1 is the first term. N is the number of terms. And R is the common ratio, which is meron na tayong value, which is 2. Okay, so let us now substitute the given values in our formula. So, a sub n is magiging a sub 7 since 7 term yung ating hinahanap sa sequence. And then, yung a sub 1 ay magiging 4 since 4 yung ating first term sa sequence. And then, multiplied by 2 which is ayun yung ating r. And then, raise to 7 minus 1. Okay, ang una natin gawin is i-minus muna natin yung dalawang exponents. So, 7 minus 1 is 6, kaya magiging a sub 7 equals 4 times 2 raised to 6. Next is, hanapin muna natin yung value na exponent since iyon yung under ng PEMDAS rule. So, parenthesis, exponent or expression. So, yung since wala tayong parenthesis, proceed na tayo doon sa expression or exponent. So, kapag silabing 2 raised to 6, that is not 2 times 6. That is 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. So, anim na beses imumultiply ang 2 sa sarili niya. Again, that is not 2 times 6, but that is 2 multiplied 
by itself six times. Okay, so 2 raised to 6 will be 64. And then, i-multiply lang natin yung 4 sa 64. Therefore, the value of a sub 7 is 256. So, therefore, 256 is the seventh term of the geometric sequence. Second example in finding the nth term. Determine the sixth term in the sequence negative 5, 20, negative 80, and so on. So, paano nga ba naging positive 20 ang kasunod ng negative 5? So, ano yung number na minultiply natin sa negative 5 kaya naging positive 20? So, that is the negative 4. Because negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. 5 times 4 is 20. Negative times negative is positive. Next, paano naging negative 80? Ganon pa rin. 20 times 4 is 80. And then, positive times negative is negative. Tulad ng sign, or kung pareho silang positive o parehong negative, ang product ay palaging positive. Kapag naman magkaiba ng sign or positive-negative, the product will always negative. Okay, so let us now have the solution using the geometric uh, sequence formula. So substitute lang natin yung n natin, iyon yung hinahanap nating term, which is the sixth term, equals negative 5, na kung saan negative 5, iyon yung ating first term. Multiplied by negative 4 raised to 6 minus 1. Yung negative 4 natin, iyon yung r na nakuha natin kanina. Okay. So, let us now um, simplify the exponents. So, magiging a sub 6 is equal to negative 5 times negative 4 raised to 5. Okay. Question, bakit nagkaroon ng parenthesis ang r o yung negative 4? Ito ay dahil para hindi tayo malito doon sa sign na negative 4. Dahil... Kapag ang, uh, ang nakalagay lang dyan is negative 4 raised to 5 at walang open and close parenthesis, mali yung makukuhang sign ng ating product. So, palagi pong may open and close parenthesis kapag negative yung ating base and then ratio sa exponent. Okay. So, again, kapag sinabi negative 4 raised to 5, that is not negative 4 times 5. That is negative 4 multiplied by itself 5 times. Okay. So that is negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. So the answer is negative 1024. And then imumultiply natin sa negative 5. So the value of a sub 6 is 1280. Therefore, 1280 is the sixth term of the geometric sequence. Okay, so let us now proceed in finding the first term. So, for example, determine the first term in the sequence with common ratio of negative 5 and its fifth term is negative 2,500. So, ganun pa rin yung ating formula ng geometric sequence. So, i-substitute lang natin since meron tayong given na fifth term. So, ito ay magiging a sub 5 equals a sub 1 times negative 5 na kung saan yung negative 5, iyon yung ating given na common ratio, raised to 5 minus 1. Since ang hinahanap natin ay the first term, so hindi natin kailangang palitan ng value yung a sub 1. Okay, next is to get the value of a sub 5 sa ating given which is negative 2,500 and then equals a sub 1 times negative 5 raised to 4 because 5 minus 1 is 4. Okay, next is to simplify this um, base and exponent. So, negative 5 raised to 4 is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. And that is equal to positive 625. Okay, next is to multiply a sub 1 sa 625. So, magiging negative 2,500 equals 625 times a sub 1. Or pinagtabi lang natin yung dalawa na kung saan palagi pong nauuna ang constant bago ang variable or letter. Okay. So, para makuha natin yung value ng a sub 1 or ng first term, kailangan nating makancel or maalis sa tabi niya ang 625. And, iyon ay makakancel natin using the division. So, we have to divide both sides of the equation ng 625. So, pwede na nating i-cancel ang 625 sa tabi ng a sub 1. Ganon din sa denominator. So, ang matitira na lang dito ay a sub 1. And then next is, i-divide natin ang negative 2,500 sa 625. So, the value of a sub 1 is negative 4. Therefore, negative 4 is the first term of the geometric sequence.
Another example in finding the first term, so determine the first term in the sequence with common ratio of 9, and its fourth term is negative 2,187. Okay, so for our solution using the formula of geometric sequence, substitute lang natin na kung saan yung n natin ay yun yung fourth term at ang r naman natin ay yun yung positive 9. Okay, so this will become a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times 9 raised to 4 minus 1. And then, um, hahanapin natin or papalitan natin ang a sub 4 ng given which is negative 2,187 equals a sub 1 times 9 raised to 3 or 9 cube because 4 minus 1 is 3. So, ginagamit lang natin ang open and close parentheses dito sa may exponent kapag ang base natin is may negative sign. So, since ang 9 ay positive, hindi na natin kailangan panlagyan ng parentheses. Okay, so let us now multiply, uh, multiply 9 uh, by itself 3 times. So, 9 times 9 times 9, that is equal to 729. And then, i-multiply lang natin 729 times a sub 1 is 729 a sub 1. So, again, para makuha natin yung value ng a sub 1, kailangan natin makancel yung 729 by dividing both sides of the equation by 729. So, nakancel na natin. Ang natira na lang dito sa right side ng equal sign is a sub 1. So, dito naman, we have to divide negative 2,187 by 729. So, the value of a sub 1 is negative 3. Therefore, negative 3 is the first term of the geometric sequence. Next example is finding the geometric mean. What is the geometric mean of 2 and 18? So for our solution, we, first is we have to multiply the two terms. So 2 times 18, that is equal to 36. And then after natin makuha yung product ng dalawang terms, we have to get the square root. Bakit square root yung kinukuha natin doon sa dalawang terms? Ito ay dahil dalawang term ang given. So we have to use or we have to find the square root of 36. So therefore, the value is 6. So 6 is the geometric mean of the sequence. Another example, what is the geometric mean of 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81? So ganun pa rin for the solution, we have to multiply the 5 numbers or the 5 terms. So 1 times 3 times 9 times 27 times 81. So the product is 59,049. Next, pagkakuha natin ng product or after natin i-multiply yung limang numbers, kailangan natin hanapin yung kanilang fifth root. Again, since limang terms or limang numbers ang given, para mahanap natin yung geometric mean ng limang terms na ito, kailangan natin hanapin yung fifth root. So kung kanina, uh, square root lamang, ito ay dahil dalawang term yung given sa ating um, sequence. Okay, so let us find the fifth root of 59,049. So the answer is 9. Therefore, 9 is the geometric mean of the sequence. Kapag naman ang given na uh, terms sa ating sequence ay um, 7, so ibig sabihin, imumultiply muna natin yung pitong number and then kukunin naman natin yung seventh root at iyon na yung geometric mean. Okay, next is finding the common ratio o yung value ng R. Find the common ratio of a geometric sequence with first term value of 7 and the sixth term is 224. So, gamitin natin yung formula ng geometric sequence. Okay, so let us now substitute the values. Ang a sub n ay magiging a sub 6 since meron tayo sa given na 6 term. And then a sub 1 is the first term which is 7 times r raised to 6 minus 1. Yung r natin, iyon yung common ratio which is iyon yung hahanapin natin ng value. Okay, so i-minus muna natin yung exponent. So 6 minus 1 is 5. And then yung a sub 6 ay palitan na natin ng term niya or ng value niya which is 224. And then, minultiply uh, lang natin. Ang nakuha natin dito is r raised to 5. So, 7 times r raised to 5 is 7 r raised to 5. Again, kapag magkatabi ang constant at variable, that is multiplication. Okay, next. Kailangan natin makancel ang constant na nasa tabi ng r raised to 5 
by dividing both sides of the equation by 7. So, i-cancel na natin yung 7. And then, i-divide lang natin. 224 divided by 7 is 32 equals R raised to 5. Pero, wala pa rin tayong value ng R. Kailangan nating matanggal ang exponent na 5. Paano? Hahanapin lang natin yung fifth root ng given value. So, let us find the fifth root of 32. And we have to find the fifth root of R raised to 5. So, kapag hinahanap natin ang fifth root, kailangan nating alamin ano yung numbers na kapag minultiply na limang beses, 32 yung sagot. At ano naman yung um, exponent ng R na kapag minultiply ng limang beses ay R na yung sagot. Uh, sorry, R raised to 5 yung sagot. So, the answer or the value of R is 2. Because 2 raised to 5 or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. And R multiplied by itself 5 times is uh, R raised to 5. So therefore, 2 is the common ratio of the geometric sequence. Another example in finding the common ratio, find the common ratio of a geometric sequence with first term value of 13 and the third term is negative 468. Okay, so let us use again the formula of geometric sequence, substitute the given values. Ang a sub n natin ay magiging a sub 3 since ang value natin or ang given natin is third term. And then a sub 1 is 13. And then ang nawawala is yung value ng common ratio or r. Raised to 3 minus 1. Okay, next is to find the value of a sub 3. So that is the given negative 468. And then r raised to 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So minultiply lang natin or pinagtabi lang natin yung 13 at yung r squared. Okay, next. Para matanggal natin yung 13 sa tabi ng r squared, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 13. And then, i-divide lang natin. Negative 468 divided by 13 is 36 equals to r squared. Next is, for us to get the value of r, kailangan natin matanggal dito yung squared. So, we have to get the square root of 36 and the square root of r squared. So, the value of r is 6. Therefore, 6 is the common ratio of the geometric sequence. So, let us now summarize what we have learned about the geometric sequence or the geometric progression. Again, it is a set of terms in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the same fixed number called the common ratio, which is commonly represented by R. So, the formula in geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the last n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms in the sequence, and r is the common ratio. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.